We are learning much more about the people in the Porsche Cayenne involved in a brazen gangland hit in Kelowna. The automatic gunfire claimed the life of one of the Bacon brothers and left four others injured. Today, Eric Rankin spoke with a friend of two of the survivors. He joins us now. Eric? Well, Tony, why was Hell's Angel Larry Amaro in a luxury SUV with Jonathan Bacon? And why was a 21-year-old woman riding along only to be paralyzed by the spray of gunfire that raked the vehicle? Tonight, some insight from a woman who says she could easily have been in that targeted car. Yeah, we love them. They're really nice people. Yeah, they're nice. 26-year-old Jasmine Wong is a friend of two of the victims, meeting them as a neighbor of the White Rock chapter of the Hells Angels, the high security clubhouse located not in White Rock, but amid quiet Langley farmland. Jasmine has partied with members of the Hells Angels and personally knows Full Patch member Larry Amaro, seriously wounded in Sunday's targeted hit on this luxury SUV outside a Kelowna casino. Amaro was riding alongside Red Scorpion's founder, Jonathan Bacon, who died in the gangland hit. Although police say it's not clear if Bacon, Amaro, or another passenger, a member of the independent soldiers, was the intended target, Jasmine insists Amaro was an innocent bystander. I think it was total wrong place, wrong time. He was on vacation, just out there having a good time in Kelowna. Jasmine is also friends with 21-year-old Leah Haddon Watts, niece of the head of the Haney chapter of the Hells Angels, who was also in the SUV and shot in the neck in the attack. Friends report she's now paralyzed. A week before the attack, Jasmine was talking with Leah at a barbecue. She was telling me about school and, you know, she just turned 21. She's a beautiful blonde girl. She had her whole life ahead of her. She's in someone's car and, and now look. And it's like, I, I heard through a friend the other day that she's 100% paralyzed from the waist down. Jasmine cringes at how close she came to being in that car. She says she almost went to Kelowna last weekend to party with Larry Amaro and Leah Haddon Watts, but she made a fateful decision to stay in Langley to be with her two-year-old son. And the fact that it, it, it could have been me or another one of my girlfriends, it's, you know, it's a reality check for sure. Now it's like, I don't know if I ever even want to go back out there. So Eric, certainly a different perspective on what happened, but what about reports that Amaro wasn't so innocently in Kelowna that he and Bacon had formed a new gang called the Wolf Pack? Well, Jasmine says she knows nothing about that and off camera said she had no idea why Amaro was hanging out with Jonathan Bacon, though she confesses she knew they were friends. Still, she insists we shouldn't be so fast to judge people wounded in such gangland hits, saying they're real people and sometimes, as you heard her say, simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Tony? Thank you, Eric.